Welcome back, Slangerholics, to another installment of The Power of Color. Today, we're talking about a character from a very short-lived series back in the 90s called Mantis. I personally remember watching the show growing up. I didn't understand what was going on, but all in all, I think this is a very good character for us to highlight in this series. Now, the TV show Mantis is about a wealthy black scientist named Dr. Miles Hawkins, who gets paralyzed from the waist down. It pretty much is immobile. His only means of getting around is a wheelchair. But at night, he has a really advanced stealth suit that kind of looks like a bug a little bit, almost like a mantis, which is why you get the acronym Mantis, M-A-N-T-I-S. Now, Mantis stands for Mechanically Augmented Neurotransmitter Interactive System. Now, all of this means that he has this fly, nice looking, powered exoskeleton suit with lets him fight crime. So not only is it a body armor that lets him walk upright, you know, with him being paralyzed and everything, it's also bulletproof. It also gives him superhuman strength. It also gives him the extra speed and agility. And he also fires non-lethal paralyzing darts at his enemies. Now, since he's a wealthy scientist, of course he has to have other gadgets as well. He also has a flying car slash submarine that he uses to get around the city at night. But all in all, the series revolved around him trying to figure out who paralyzed him, which turned out to be his old business partner. Now, like I said, the series was very short-lived and within this 22 episodes, it got real crazy. I'm talking time travel, I'm talking parallel universes, creatures from other dimensions. It, it just got weird from what it was initially set out to be. At the end of the day, Mantis was a unique idea and original superhero that I think that goes underappreciated. But that's why we wanted to highlight Dr. Hawkins, AKA Mantis on the power of color. Stay tuned for the Power Color series as we feature a different character every day this month in the realm of sci-fi fantasy.